Well, good afternoon to the two o'clock half hour that I have. My name is John Wilcox. Welcome to the show. We have been discussing Romans. We're in the fourth chapter. And Paul begins the fourth chapter by reaching for Abraham. And I wanted to quote from Isaiah at the beginning of chapter 51, verse 1. He says, listen to me, you who seek after righteousness, you who seek the Lord. Look to the rock from which you were hewn, and to the hole of the pit from which you were dug. Look to Abraham your father, and to Sarah who bore you, for I called him alone, and blessed him, and increased him. Now over to Romans we will be in just a minute. And I was sidetracked a little bit. I talked about how, you know, the Christian lifestyle is a lifestyle. It is not a religion. And to be a Christian requires an awful lot more than simply saying a little prayer to accept Jesus as your Lord and Savior so that one day when you die, you will go to heaven. I'm sorry, you, you missed the bulk of what Scripture has to say about the Christian lifestyle. You are supposed to bring the kingdom of heaven to earth, and that word kingdom, as I will explain in the next segment, has this enormous portent and power to it. And that's what Jesus did when he was here on earth. He was known far more for his, what he said than for all those miracles. The miracles followed, but if you pay attention to the gospel accounts, he spoke the words and the miracles occurred because he had the power of being the son, both the son of God and the king of the Jews. And as a king, when he spoke, it became the law. So let's look at Romans. Romans. 